हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द डिजाइन स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर द अटैचमेंट एट ए फॉर दिस बीम डिपेंड ऑन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड लोकेशन ऑफ द अप्लाइड लोड्स सो इट इज सेड दैट रिप्रेजेंट द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दिस थ्री फोर्सेज एंड कपल बाय अ सिंगल रिजल्टेंट आर एट ए एंड अ कपल एम राइट सो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस थ्री फोर्सेज एंड दिस कपल बाय force couple system at this point a and it is said that specify the magnitude of the resultant so now if you want to find the resultant vector so then we have to find the rx and ry component of the resultant so rx component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of all forces along x similarly ry will be equal to the summation of all forces along y right and this is our positive x direction and this is our positive y direction this is given right so for that we need to resolve this 2 kN force into its components right so if if i draw a if i extend this 2 kN force like this right so this is the line of action of this force right and if i draw a horizontal line here if i draw a horizontal line here so now we can see that this line this line is perpendicular to this line and this line this force is perpendicular with this line right so this means that if this angle is 20 degrees so then this angle is also 20 degrees right so this means that we can resolve this 2 kN force into its components right so it will have one component in this direction right in the positive x and it will have one component in the in this direction in the negative y direction right so this one is the cos component this is 2 cos of 20 degrees and this one is 2 sin of 20 degrees so now if we apply this so our x will be equal to so now as we can see that only this component this uh component of 2 kN is acting in the positive x direction right so we can write that our x is equal to plus 2 cos of 20 degrees and similarly our y will be equal to so this 3 kN force is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus 3 and this is in the negative y so we will write minus 4 and this component is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus 2 sin of 20 degrees So this gives us our x equals to 1.879 and it is directing in the x direction and this is our y which is minus 1.684j right so we can represent that resultant in a vector form so this will be 1.879i minus 1.684j right so this is that resultant which will replace these three forces now we will find the total moment at point a due to these three forces and this couple right so let's say that the moment at point a is m and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive so this is equal to so now as we can see that this 3 kN force is producing a clockwise moment about this point a so we will write uh, sorry counter clockwise moment about a so we will write plus and this will be 3 into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance of this 3 kN force from that point a is 0.8 similarly this 4 kN force is producing clockwise moment about that point a so we will write minus and this will be 4 and this is the perpendicular distance of this force right so this is 1.8 and now as we can see that the this component of the 2 kN force the cos component of the 2 kN force is passing through that point a so it will not produce the moment about point a so only this sine component is producing the moment about point a and this sine component is producing clockwise moment about that point a so we will write minus and this is 2 sin of 20 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point a is 1.8 plus 1.2 so this is 1.8 plus 1.2 so this is as a whole 3 meters right so this is multiplied by 3 so this will give us the moment of these three forces and then we have to add up this 8 kN couple force kN meter right and this 8 kN meter couple is uh, clockwise moment right so we will write minus 8 
So the resultant moment at point A equals to minus 14.85 kilonewton meter and this minus indicates that this moment is clockwise moment. So we can write that this is clockwise moment and its magnitude is 14.85 kilonewton meter. So now if you want to represent this uh, force coupled system at that point A, so the resultant has one component in the positive x direction and has one component in the negative y direction. So this means that the resultant force is is directed like this, right? So it has one component which is uh, in the positive x direction. So it has one component like this and it has one component in the negative y direction. So this is that resultant. This is the representation of that resultant and this moment is clockwise moment. So we will draw this representation right so this this is that moment which is equal to 14.85 and this is clockwise moment and this is kilonewton meter so this is the solution of this particular problem